Good afternoon, ladies. It's August the 1st. Um, this is Kay Falver from West Creek Stampers, and I just wanted to share with you uh, some of the cards that, uh, actually the cards that we made in the Gorgeous Posies class this week. And then also I wanted to show you what I got last week at my quarterly upline meeting. So this there are four different cards in the Gorgeous Posies kit, and you make four each of them. Everything is included except the stamps and the um, stamp pads, which I provided for this class. And um, you can substitute other greetings, but the stamp set um, that goes with the Gorgeous Posies is, uh, does have some very nice greetings on it. So that is the fourth one. And then as a bonus, um, I had six people take the class. As a bonus, I cut out some things to use um, those stamps in a different way. So we stamped the flower from the stamp set and then it gets cut out by hand, the flower and the leaves. And this uh, greeting here is from the Ridiculously Awesome stamp set. And then this is the second alternate card that we made um, at that class. And I, I used the gold hoops on it. These flowers are punch outs in the, um, the kit. And this paper is from the um, texture, um, textiles, I believe is, is what it is. So that paper is from that set. Then I wanted to tell you about our quarterly meeting with my upline, um, Jody Breckbill. Um, we pay for that, but we always get lots of goodies in that included in that class and one of the things that we did was make cards from the flowers for every season memories and more card pack and the flowers for every season um printed paper i still have a lot of those pieces left but here are some of the cards that we made this uh yellow is from the printed paper and she gave us the card stock um the coordinating cardstock from the new in colors. So this one is Bumblebee. This piece here is in the memories and more. And then um, she had stamps there for us to use. This one uh, was already printed from the memories and more. Um, and then this is the paper from the every for flowers for every season. This is another one. This is using that new color in color cinnamon. And um, these memories and more cards make some very easy cards. We also got a three pack of ribbon, and I'll show you that here as soon as um, I show you the rest of these cards that was included in the cost of our meeting. Of course, she had refreshments there for us, but this is one of the perks of being a demonstrator. Um, you get invited to several different demonstrators, but Jody is my direct upline. Cindy Fodor at Gettysburg invites us to hers, and then Connie Heisey from Hanover. We always get lots of good ideas, but I thought these cards were gorgeous. Uh, we made 10 cards, two each out of the new in colors, and Jody provided the um, cardstock for that. But this right here, this is one of the um, cards from the Memories and More card pack. So the other thing that we got with that, we got the Flowers for Every Season paper pack, the Memories and More card pack, and then we got this pack of ribbon, which is the Flowers for Every Season ribbon combo pack. So there's a white, 
Well, this is actually, I think it's Purple Posy. Um, my lighting isn't the best down here this afternoon. And then this is a gingham. And then this is a gorgeous, gorgeous sparkly um, twine. So the other thing, thanks to you girls, I got some awards. I um, won a Stampin' Up! mouse pad. I won a pack of the adhesive sheets and one of these videos coming up, I'll show you how we can use those. And then the other thing that I won, I haven't even opened yet, is the mini um, cutter, which I did not have. So that was pretty exciting to, um, to win that. And you can see the size of it, this is a standard size card. So this is about how big that cutter is. And while I have this card on here, this was, um, I showed this card on the video this week and did a drawing and Bethany Smith won the um, kit for that card. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you, um, the paper share has grown and I do, um, I filled the one spot and filled another spot. So I do have a couple openings if anyone still wants to get in that paper share. I'll be ordering that um, printed paper on August the 4th. Um, you'll get, let me think now, you'll get 12 six by six sheets out of each of the packs of printed paper in the new catalog. Plus you'll get six from the, there's a specialty poinsettia paper and that does not have as many sheets in it. The other thing I wanted to show you today was a tip that Jody showed us on a video. I'm not sure if you all watch her or not, Jody Breckbill, of how to get these stickers on the back of your stamps when you get new stamps. Now, this is the way that I always did it. I always peeled the plastic off of the back, and then I find the side of this sheet with the stickers on that has the split. It's a little shiny, and I get in there with my not-so-nice fingernails, peel that off, and then just line that up and get go right down there. Now, I know I've had problems in the past, and some of you probably have too, of not getting that on perfectly straight. This new cling adhesive, it does not forgive. So it is very hard to get that off and reposition it once you have it on there. The other method that Jody showed this week, and I tried it and I liked it, so you need to peel that off. So you find the sticker on here that matches. And this one is May the Rest of Your Lives Be the Best of Your Lives. This is actually from Well Said. And I didn't have all the stickers on, so I wanted to use this set. So you get down in here and pull that whole thing off. And then stick it right on your block. Now you get down there and peel off. And if you have better fingernails than I do, you probably make out better with this, but I can get it. Um, so now you take your, and I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be for me to do this with looking over top of the phone, cause I have the phone between me and the stamp. So what you do is line that up and lay it right on there and pick it right up. And your stamp, mine actually do line up better doing it that way. So that's just a little tip for today. Um, have a good rest of the weekend. Stay cool and um, 
If you know anybody that even has questions about the paper share or is interested, um, let me know or send them my way. Um, I can answer any questions, but I do have another space or two in, the, in a paper share for this time, and the cost is $40. I will package those according to um, the paper pack and have a label on the out with, outside with the name and also with the coordinating um, cardstock colors. So thank you, ladies, and have a good rest of the weekend, and I'll talk to you again this week, I'm sure. Bye-bye.